Hey YouTube, it's the test lead, and today's video is black box, white box, and gray box testing in 2022. If you've been around the QA world for a while, there's a good chance you heard the buzzwords of doing black box testing and white box testing, but what's gray box testing? Part of making sure that an application is ready to be deployed is to test in various ways. This video will cover what is black box testing, what is white box testing, and what is gray box testing. Black box testing. Think of black box testing as entering a room with the lights turned off. Open your eyes and you still can't see anything that's in that room. The same applies here in black box testing. In black box testing, the person performing the test has no knowledge of the internal structure or source code of the application. You may be wondering why. Simple, it's not needed for these tests. Black box testing is usually done from the perspective of an end user. I never met an end user that has access to the source code of an application. The main goal of black box testing is to interact with the UI. Its functionality should be tested as well as inputs and outputs against the original requirements established earlier in a software development lifecycle. Black box testing is usually the most unbiased and easiest to do because it does not require any software knowledge to test and is usually carried out by an independent team. White box testing. Think of white box testing as you're in that same dark room, but you just found a light switch. So you turn it on. And now you can see everything that's inside of the room. Whereas in black box testing, you don't care about anything that was in the source code. In white box testing, that's all you care about. Now that you can see everything that's in the room, you're picking it up and saying, what's this? What's that? You're going to test every single thing that you can see. The actual goal of white box testing is to test the actual logic and structure of the code. Because white box testing dives into the code, in order to test it, you need someone who can read and write code. The tester also needs knowledge of the application itself and access to all the source code and any documentation to make sure all the code itself meets the standards and expectations. White box testing is more complex to do, but when a bug is found, it is easy to pinpoint where the problem is in the code. And finally, gray box testing. Think of gray box testing as the marriage between white box testing and black box testing. It tries to form a perfect balance between the two. Gray box testing tries to balance the pros of black box and white box testing so that you have better overall testing coverage. Gray box testing incorporates the front end testing from black box as well as the back end testing from white box, which now gives you multi layer coverage for testing. To carry out gray box testing, the tester needs at least partial knowledge of the code structure to create the test cases that will be carried out. The test cases that are created for the tester should be focused on finding defects in every layer and trying to close any possible gaps in the testing. To wrap it up, remember black box testing is just front end testing and testing the UI or interface. White box testing is testing the back end and you're actually going through all the code. And gray box testing is to make sure both to have multi-level coverage. It's also very important to communicate to your team members so you don't have redundant testing and waste valuable testing resources. If you found this video helpful at all, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want another video just like this, please take care and hey, don't forget to learn something new today.